Hey guys, Steve Morales here, and today I'm going to do a quick video on a simple meal that you can do for breakfast. You don't technically have to do this for breakfast, it's good as a dessert also, but it's chia oatmeal. And I know there are a handful of other different ways that uh, people have done this before. It's simple, it's not hard to do. The ingredients that I have, got my chia seeds, organic chia seeds right here. Uh, we've got whey factors. I'm actually going to be doing this with protein in it today. <clears throat> got uh, hemp milk, unsweetened vanilla, and then I have some goji berries and a little bit of vanilla stevia. So for this, I don't technically ever do like a set amount. I don't measure out like very, very specifically what I'm going to be putting in this. Um, the little scooper thing that this came with happens to be one tablespoon. So, I'm going to do two of those, okay? And per tablespoon, you're getting five grams of uh, fiber, three grams of protein, and two and a half grams of omega-3 fatty acids. So, just with this right here, I mean, I have five grams of omega-3 fatty acids right there. <clears throat> the reason I chose hemp milk is because with this, it actually has omega fatty acids in it also, so I'm kind of doubling down with that. Um, it's only 80 calories, 2 grams of protein right here, um, has the good fats in it, so 8 grams of good fat, and then it has a ton of vitamins and minerals in it. So, getting the vitamins and minerals with this also, which you're also getting with the chia seeds. Now, I'm going to put this on a low heat, so it shouldn't be super hot. You don't want to burn off a lot of the different nutrients with this. And right now, I mean, that's about a half cup that I put in there, but I, I really just monitor this. So I, I make sure that I let this set for a little bit so that those chia seeds can gelatinize. And that's where you're going to get a lot of the other benefit from the chia seeds. That gel-like material that comes out of these is what actually absorbs a lot of different things in your colon there. So once this starts to gelatinize, um, I'll stir it a little bit and then I'll add more fluid, kind of adds as needed, until I get it where I want it to be. Now with adding in the protein, I'm probably going to have to add a little bit more just because of this powder so that I can let that actually mix well in that. And it should have a pretty good consistency, more like a porridge or something like that. So I'm going to go ahead and let this do its thing. I'll add what I need to and then I'm going to fast forward here and then I'll actually show you guys the stuff as I'm adding it in. Alrighty, so this has started to gelatinize. It's actually really, really thick now, so I'm going to add a little bit more liquid to it. With that, just stir it up. I mean, it'll start to kind of pull apart a little bit more. And then now I'm going to go ahead and add in the whey. I'm going to do about a half serving. I don't need a massive amount in this. I'm already getting a decent amount of protein. So I'm gonna add about another eight or nine grams of protein to this, which I've already gotten. So I got my 10, 19 plus two, so I got like 21 grams right here. Stir this in. So for my goji berries, I'm gonna add in about I mean, a small handful, I mean, not a massive amount, but start with this. We'll see how it spreads. I mean, I kind of like an even spread with it. Um, with the goji berries, uh, you're adding in some sugar, so people have to be mindful of that. Now, it's a complex sugar um, with a little bit of simple sugar, and these will soften in here, and I just got these from Whole Foods. I typically like the Dragon Herbs brand. That is a softer goji berry. It, it hasn't been over dried like these, so it does taste a little bit better, but that's typically what I recommend. Um, but with the goji berries, I mean, 18 out of the 24 amino acids has 24 vitamins and minerals, so kind of this is like the multivitamin that I'm throwing in here, right? But from a natural source. Like I said, we do get a little bit of the sugars, but they're complex sugars, so I mean, that's going to. Uh, it's not going to affect you. It's not going to cause as big of an insulin spike as if I just threw in something in here that was more of like a, a regular um, fruit. Now, I do typically add in, and this is something that you can do also if you like a sweet and sour 
type thing. I'll throw in a Granny Smith apple. So I'll dice that up, throw that in here too. And then, like I said, it's, it's a very unique flavor with that sweet and sour. And what I love about the goji berries when I throw this in here is it actually makes it kind of taste like marshmallows. So it has a, a similar consistency. So I definitely love that. So definitely the consistency that we want. Last thing that I'll do is I'll just give a little bitty spray of the vanilla stevia. Stir this in here. I mean, you could add in honey, right? Some raw honey if you're wanting something that uh, has more calories to it, some more nutrients. I mean, that's a pre and a probiotic. Uh, that one has 24 vitamins and minerals in it as well. It's complete protein. I mean, all this stuff, like I said, I'm getting the protein, complete protein getting the omega fatty acids in of it, the, the vitamins, the minerals, all that stuff. So if you see that, I mean, the consistency is more or less, like I said, like a porridge, right? Taste this real quick. And it's really, really good. I'm gonna throw in a couple more goji berries. And I'm actually gonna let this sit and warm up just a little bit longer. It's not quite as warm as I'd like it to be. And because of that, I'll actually add in one more splash. Of the hemp milk. That way it doesn't dry out. And like I said, it can warm up. Turn it just a little bit higher. So, like I said, not trying to cook this or anything like that, just trying to get it warm. And the cool thing is, <clears throat> this is going to taste phenomenal if it's cold, too. So, if I don't eat all of this, I can set this in the fridge. And there's actually some people that have ingredients like that, also. They'll put all of this stuff into a jar, kind of like the overnight oatmeal. Same thing, they'll just do it with cheese seeds. Wake up the next morning, they're good to go. I mean, this actually doesn't take that long, because when this gelatinizes, I mean, it happens pretty quick. So... That is it for all of this. Like I said, real simple. I mean, I'm done. This took a couple minutes. Um, super healthy. Great breakfast that you can have. Tastes phenomenal. There's not a, a, a ton of calories in this. Um, just looking at and doing like a quick deal. I mean, 300 calories max for this. 140 from here. Um, I didn't even get a cup out of this. I probably got a half cup. Um, or three-fourths of a cup so another 50 calories out of this so we're at 190 plus my calories from this uh, and I did three-fourths on here so 240 maybe another 60 from the goji berries right here I mean that's it let's say 300 max on this I mean there's there's not a ton and this will fill you up because there's so much fiber in this and there's so many different nutrients in this as well so I want to thank you guys for watching um, if you have any questions or comments or anything like that, please do that, that below. Definitely want to try and get some other um, meals and, and superfood meals and stuff like that that I do on Hailer as well. So look forward to those. And thank you guys so much for watching.